Hey folks, I am back with an update on my newest SnowRunner mod map project. Right now I'm calling it Outback Heavy Hauling. And uh, we are going to go a little off the beaten path on this one. I'm not going to go out in the big trucks, but I'm going to show you guys one of the trails. And we're actually going to head, there's a trail up the uh, big mountain, I guess you would call it in the background there, outcropping. Right here you can see that I have been kind of playing with the mud a bit more. This is kind of what I envisioned for this area that has been rained on. So it's not real thick mud, but it's enough to be driving around in the mud. Some of it's a little deeper than others, but nothing too crazy. I have spent quite a bit of time on a lot of little stuff around the world that's already been here. And then I've also built a few new areas that you guys are going to have a look at here when we go up on top of the, uh, the mountain over here. It's right almost dead in the middle of the map so it uh, you can see a lot. I will be adding the far plains is what they call in the background which will hopefully break up the edge of the map. You'll see up here a little bit. This is still part of the area that would have got a fair bit of rain some of these puddles might be a little deep i don't know let me know what you guys think it's possible that a lot of rain can come at, at one time so it's none of it's super muddy but it just trying to keep the outback feel and the outback look it's not easy to make it challenging but this map is going to be more about hauling and when you get up to this uh, this mountain that we're going to climb up there is some pretty good trailing to be had out here. So what I'm really thinking is we're going to have some drilling tasks which is going to be building a rig, uh, supplying stuff for that. Uh, we're going to have a quarry you'll see coming up here later that's going to have some deliveries in and out of. We're going to do some gold mining tasks. I'm, I see there's gold in the new uh, the new update as a cargo. Uh, I want to add a couple farms out here. So I'm, I'm looking at probably some hay stuff, delivery stuff. And we'll see. We don't really have anything that is cattle or livestock focused. So I'll do what I can with that. Um, the windmill thing is another uh, another task that I want to do. There's going to be some recoveries. In fact, probably integrate it with some of the recoveries on the first map too. And just really try and fill it out with a lot of hauling contracts. Now the airport you guys saw in the other video, it's going to have some stuff that's going to go in and out. I'm starting to think I'll probably spend a, a fair bit of time on the original uh, Outback Overlanding map to adjust it to have a few more loading areas. I might kind of redo the town area a little bit. The original single map will still be the same. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to be updating the new map to work together with the uh, w with the two map region so just to give this some more driving time in terms of tasks and I can't put I don't really want to put a big town out here I want to kind of keep it as further out back the reason I'm probably going to stick with just two maps on this region is purely console size and if for some reason the region's too big for switch or any of the other ones I will look at releasing just this map as a single map so I will integrate some tasks that can just function on on this map alone that way it won't be completely empty although as like the near north region in Coffs Harbor you're only getting part of the experience but it is what it is I heard a couple weeks ago I got a message on Mod.io from one of the SnowRunner team that said they haven't figured out why the Near North won't uh, or is still having issues. I'm really not even sure what issues on PS4 and Xbox One. 
they're still working on it they said i'd still love for you guys to see that but i really no idea what's going on with that it kind of sucks it definitely isn't what i want i want all my mods to be available to everyone so yeah it is what it is but if i have to do anything to make it compatible for you guys i definitely will and like i said if this region is too big or has an issue i'll put out a single map version so at least you can have access to both maps and i'm probably not gonna go much bigger than two map regions anymore just because the larger the mods get the more troubles there seems to be and i'm pretty sure i don't know this as a fact but as they add more dlc content to the game it just takes up more resources to operate the game and all of that's packed into the game it's just access they give you so it just seems that there's going to be less and less I, again i'm i don't know this for a fact but it's a pattern i've noticed as they've updated it things just seem to get smaller and smaller so anyways guys i really hope you uh, like the progress so far and please let me know what uh, what i can do to make this map better or any great suggestions you have thanks a lot we'll talk to you again soon